My name is Jesus Bordeja. I'm the director of multiple myeloma research at the Sarah Cannon Research Institute. I'm an attending physician at Tennessee Oncology and the Sarah Cannon Center for Blood Cancer. According to the American Cancer Society, there, there were 21, over 21,000 new cases of multiple myeloma diagnosed in the United States in 2012. The rate does not seem to be increasing per se, but the good news is people are living longer, much, much longer with this disease than they used to just 10 years ago. So unfortunately, unfortunately that means that there are more people living with the disease at any one time. So it seems like there are more people with multiple myeloma now than there have been in the past. Another distinctive feature about this type of cancer is that because the cells normally make proteins called antibodies that can accumulate in your blood or in your urine, many times people come to attention on routine evaluations from their primary care physicians. On their routine physical exam, they get some laboratories done, there is an abnormal elevation of the protein. Further tests are done and that's how this comes about. So a lot of patients don't necessarily have symptoms and are just found serendip serendipitously on routine blood tests. The protein that is created by the plasma cells, although initially normal, becomes abnormal as it increases in, in amount. So the excess proteins start to deposit in different organs, and in particular the kidney. So a lot of people come in with kidney dysfunction, and oftentimes people don't, are not diagnosed until they actually are already on dialysis, and it turns out that the reason for the kidney failure is multiple myeloma. These proteins can be excreted also in the urine, and oftentimes on routine urine analysis, people will notice an elevation in the protein. But I think it's important to note that Many other things can cause elevations in protein, both in the blood and in the urine. So when a, somebody is told they have increased protein in the urine, they shouldn't immediately think it's multiple myeloma. But that is one way of screening, per se, for this disease. Having said that, unfortunately, there is no true screening for this disease, as it is relatively uncommon.